climate that we are living in, we don't need to be preached to. We, we need to be taught because we need some strategies. And it's strategies that's going to get us results. And so let us be very clear, brothers and sisters, that Jesus never taught his disciples how to preach. But he did teach them how to pray. He understood that the power that they needed would not come just through preaching. But that real power comes by having an intimate relationship with the Father through prayer. And so he took time to teach his disciples how to pray. The reality, brothers and sisters, is that a prayer church is a powerless church all ye people come on if you know that he's still a miracle worker come on put your hands together and give me praise no matter what my eyes may see and no matter what my ears may hear Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Grace and peace, beloved of God. This is Pastor Aziza Morrison, and we are saying a good God bless you and a good morning. Thank you so much for joining us for our When Zion Travels prayer and impartation call. This is the day that the Lord has made, and so we will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is Tuesday, Tuesday, Jill, uh, no, Thursday. <laughs> I said that with strength and power, like I was right, right? <laughs> Today is Thursday, Thursday, July the 1st. Today is the 1st of July. Amen. And can you believe it? We have gotten over that mid year bump, mid year hump. We are past the mid-year mark. Brothers and sisters, we are in the month of July 2020. Yep, yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. And God has been good to us. Amen. God is good. He is faithful. He is kind. He is just. Amen. You know, you all know I say that. You probably say, Pastor Morrison, always saying the same thing. <laughs> she always said the same thing. That's right, because God is good. That's right. God is just. He is amazing. He is awesome. And I love him so. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. If you are joining us here for the first time, we are saying praise the Lord. I like to say that if this may be your first time joining us, I pray it will not be your last time joining us. You can meet us here every Tuesday and every Thursday morning at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. For those of you that are watching by way of Facebook, I'm saying praise the Lord to you. And those of you that are watching by way of uh, YouTube, we're saying praise the Lord. I'm not sure if we're on YouTube this morning. We're doing something a little different. I'm doing a different, um, using a different platform to stream this morning. I, I I thought I had everything situated as usual. You know, I believe if y'all would pray, y'all not praying for me. <laughs> now I'm praying for y'all, but y'all not praying for me. I'm telling you, y'all not praying for me. I believe that if y'all would pray for me, that we could get a good team here in South Jersey. You know, our administrative staff is all across the country. And so here, right here in New Jersey, um, I don't have uh, a lot of help. So I'm I'm kind of learning how to do a lot of this stuff on my own on the fly, which is really good because I now I know how to do it, right? Now I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Um so uh, but I I don't um I don't want to keep doing this because I need to have my time, my attention and my focus 
on to studying and praying and preaching the word, not necessarily producing the show. Amen. I need to say to say amen. And so some I need somebody to say that. I need somebody to say, we're gonna pray for you, Pastor Morrison. We're going we're gonna to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. Right now, if you are watching me, you're probably wondering what I'm looking for. I am trying to figure out a way that I can put this thing on um, my personal page, but I uh, I don't want to share it. There's a way that I can actually just uh, put it on there, and I, I don't... Um, I don't see it, so I'm going to have to let this thing go. I didn't want to let it go. I really wanted to do it that way, but it looks like I'm not going to be able to. If you all would just bear with me one more second. Matter of fact, those of you that are watching uh, by way of Facebook, just go ahead and say praise the Lord. Do me a favor and say praise the Lord. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm going to have to get out of here. I'm going to have to get out of here. I'm going to have to get out of here. I'm going to have to get out of here. All right, give me one second, y'all. Let me just do this the regular. Let me do this the regular way. I was trying to do it the fancy way, but the fancy way is not working. The fancy way is not working. Do me a favor for those of you that are on Facebook. Do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that share button for me. Hit those hearts, y'all. You all know the drill, and I have shared with you before um, the reason why we ask you to uh, hit the hearts and to share. Um, is because it creates, uh, with the algorithm, basically, it's letting Facebook know. Thank you so much, D, for sharing it. Um, it lets Facebook, thank you so much, Antoinette, for sharing it. Um, the hearts, the interaction, uh, it, it sends a message to the Facebook algor- algorithm. Hey, people are watching this. And um, the algorithm says, oh, well, if people are watching it, maybe more people want to watch it. Let's let's share it to other people. Let's share it to their friends. And so... That's how it gains traction. So when you hit those hearts and uh, when you share it, it, it helps us to spread this great gospel of Jesus Christ all throughout uh, the land. So once again, uh, if you haven't done so already, uh, do us a favor and hit that share button and hit 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 those hearts. Listen, today, uh, thank you so much, Sybil, for sharing it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, uh, Cherie, for sharing it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Um, Listen, this is what I was thinking this morning. You know, the gospel is good news. Somebody say amen to that. The gospel is good news. And because the gospel is good news, you know, often we have, um, you know, just a lot of... uh, ministries who are focused on the gloom and the doom and the, you know, uh, fire, hell, and brimstone. And all of those things are um, necessary in ministry. Um, But when, uh, you know, a chef has to know that a meal has to be balanced. Somebody say that a meal has to be balanced. And so we can't, always send you to hell. We've got to give you some encouragement, some empowerment, uh, and some good news because that's what the Bible is. The Bible is the gospel, the gospel rather, I should say, the gospel is good news. And so I've got some good news for you this morning. I'm going to share this uh, word with you out of uh, uh, 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 10. First uh, Peter chapter five and verse 10. Um, and we are going to um, share this with you. I'm going to pray for you and then I'm going to let you go. I'm looking for this thing one more time. And I tell you, this thing is driving me crazy. It is just absolutely driving me crazy. The way my brain works, brothers and sisters, when I get my mind on something that I know I can do, Um, I, I, for whatever reason, I don't know why my brain is like this, but I can't let it go. (laughs) I cannot let it go until I can get it. And so now here I am looking for something and I can't find it. And, um, it is consumed, as you can see, it is consuming me because I know that I should be able to do it, but this system isn't giving me the option to do it. So anyway, all right, enough of that. Maybe we'll come back. All right, let's go to first Peter. Let's go to First Peter chapter five. Let's go to First Peter chapter five. This prayer is going to be good for you this morning. I'm telling you, this prayer is going to be good for you. Hallelujah. 
Somebody say happy July, 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 happy July. Oh, I don't even have my uh, little thing up here. Let's see. Oh, there, here we go. All right. Let's go to first Peter. I just got one verse here. I just got one verse here. I can't see the comments this morning. This uh, platform that I'm on, I can't see the comments. And if I can't, I don't know how to do it. So I'm not going to fool with it. Okay. All right. Let's go to first Peter chapter number five. Jesus, we love you. We bless thy name for blessing us. Thank you so much for this opportunity to, to worship you and to praise you and to uh, minister to you and to pour our love on you. We ask, Father, in Jesus' name, that you would speak to our hearts, open up our ears, our spirits, that we may hear and receive you. In Jesus' name, amen. First Peter chapter number five says, but the God of all grace who have called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus after ye have suffered a while he will make you perfect he will establish he will strengthen and he will settle you hallelujah come on let's read that again after that ye have suffered a while God is going to make you perfect. Somebody say, make you perfect. God is going to make you perfect. He is going to establish you, establish you. He is going to strengthen you. Hallelujah. And he's going to settle you. Hallelujah. Somebody say, this word is for me already. This word is for me already. Uh, brothers and sisters, the Lord has given me, he, he gave me this word uh, a couple of days ago um, for me to, to share this with you on today. And I didn't realize, I didn't realize that today would be July the 1st, that today would be uh, the seventh month, the month of perfection. And what the Lord has been dealing with me about, um, really just prophetically about you and those of you that are connected to uh, this ministry, um, what the Lord has been sharing with me is that um, over the last, uh, maybe I want to say about 16 months or so, um, of course, and I'm not even talking about things related to COVID because that goes without saying that our lives have been turned upside down with COVID. I'm, I'm not even speaking about COVID, but what the Lord was dealing with me about really over the last 16 months that a lot of us have really just been uh, dealing with some uncommon struggles. Somebody say that uncommon struggles. We've been dealing with a lot of uncommon struggles. And as we have been dealing with these uncommon struggles, uncommon struggles in your health, uncommon struggles in your with your own sanity, your own mindset, just what you're thinking, how you're thinking, how you're processing, uncommon struggles within your marriage, the your your inter personal relationships. Many of us, and, and this again, this is not about COVID. Um, many of us have been having uncommon struggles and have been suffering uh, in the areas of our finances. And yes, you've got food to eat, but um, as, as they used to say, you've got more, more month than you've got money. Um, and, and what the Lord has been dealing with me about and what he was talking to me about just a couple of days ago um, concerning you is that uh, he has he's bringing us to a place where he is establishing us the word that God put in my spirit and I just remember it so very clearly as I was in my car was settled somebody say that settled and it was as if God was saying I want you to tell the people that I, br I brought them to a place where they are now settled. When we are unsettled, we um, are unclear, we are anxious, we are uncertain, we are nervous, we are doubtful, 
we don't believe. God says, brothers and sisters, that he's bringing us to a place in him where not only does he want us to be settled, but that God himself is going to settle us. And so this is the prophetic word for your life this morning. And we're getting ready to pray that God is going to settle me. Somebody say that. God, settle me. Settle my anxiety. Settle my fear. Settle my restlessness. Settle my doubt. Settle me. Allow me to be able to rest in your promises, to rest in what I know that you have called me to do. Allow me to rest in who you have called me to be. That word settle there, brothers and sisters, it means to lay the foundation. It means to, to, to make st- stable or to establish. It means to have a firm foundation. Hallelujah. And so I want to encourage you this morning that as we have entered into this prophetic month of July, this month of perfecting, as we have entered into this month of July, I want to tell you that you're not going to be wavering anymore in your faith. I want to tell you that you're not going to be uncertain. Your confidence is not going to to, 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 to get away from you. God says that you are going to be standing on a firm, hallelujah, foundation. When you are on a firm foundation, the winds can come and the waves can come. You may bend, hallelujah, but but you will not break. I like how the Bible says in 1 Peter chapter number five, I like how the Bible says that after you have suffered a while, that word suffer there, it means to be afflicted or to suffer badly. And I don't know what's been afflicting you. Thank you, Jesus. I don't I don't know what's been going on in your home. I don't know what's been going on with your son. I don't know what's been going on with your daughter. I don't know what's been going on with your marriage. But there are some things God told me that has been afflicted afflicting you, but but he said that you have suffered it for a while. That word a while there, it means to be with a degree of intensity. There are some people, can I encourage you this morning? And if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that share button. This is going to bless somebody. Listen, there are some people that would have died in what you have lived through. Come on and say that with me. Yeah, others would have died in what you have lived through, the intensity of the affliction, the intensity of the warfare, the intensity of the suffering, the intensity of the mental anguish, the intensity of the fight. It would have taken somebody else out. I always like to say your sister couldn't handle it. That's why God didn't give it to her. Your brother couldn't handle it. That's why God didn't give it to him. Come on. Your friends couldn't handle it. That's why God didn't give it to you, but he gave it to you. He allowed you to go through it because he understood that you could handle the intensity. And so he makes us a promise this morning on this prophetic July 1st, 2020. He makes us a promise this morning that after you have been afflicted with intensity for a while, God's going to make you perfect. That word make their brothers and sisters, it means to prepare. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you this morning. I've come with good news. The things that has been happening in your life up until this point, it has not been in vain, but it has been purposeful because God has been using every test. God has been using every trial. God has been using every circumstance. He has been using it to prepare you 
Hallelujah for what is to come. Somebody say he's been preparing me. Come on. Somebody say he's been preparing me. God has been preparing you for the next. He's been preparing you. Hallelujah. He's been preparing you for what he has. Oh, oh, I hear this in my spirit. God has been preparing you for what he had already prepared for you. You, you. You've got to understand that the Bible says that from the beginning of time that God has already written your days. He's already counted the number of your days. He's already made a plan for you. He said, I know the plans that I have for you. Oh God, this word is blessing me this morning. I already have things that, that are, are set for you to do that, that nobody else are going to, is, can, can do those things. I already have things for you planned and prepared, but I've got to take you through some things. Hallelujah. And as I'm taking you through those things, I know it's hard. I know it, the, the, the weight of it uh, seems to be unbearable, but God says that he's going to make you perfect. In other words, he's going to prepare you. And I love what he says, and we're getting ready to pray. He says, after you suffered a while, he says, I'm going to establish that word established there. Again, it means to settle. It means to place firmly, to set fast, to fix, to strengthen, to make fix. Y'all know I preached this the other week to, to be fixed, that we are fixed. Somebody say fixed. And so God is going to establish you. No more of this wavering, no more of this inconsistency, no more of this starting and stopping. No, God says, hallelujah, because you have suffered a while. Somebody say it's been a while. Oh God, I feel like praying this morning. Oh yes, yeah, somebody say it's been a while. He's going to perform some things in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This July, July 1st, July 7th, the month 7th, the prophetic month of, of perfection. Uh, God says he's going to perfect some things concerning you. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody say, do it for me, Lord. Somebody say, do it for me, Lord. That word perfect there, it means to complete. Watch this. It means to repair. God, because you have suffered with such great intensity, God is repairing some things. And this is a prophetic word this morning. God is repairing you. He's repairing your confidence. He's repairing broken pieces. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear that right there. Somebody say that God is putting my broken pieces back together again. Some of you have been broken because of broken relationships and things that did not work. Come on, come on. Who is this word for? There are some of you that have been broken, broken in your faith, broken in your spirit. Hallelujah. Broken from disappointment. Hallelujah. God says that I'm going to make you perfect. That word it means to repair, to make complete. But this is the definition that I love. And I'm, we're getting ready to pray. When he says that he's going to perfect you, it means to make what, to make one what one ought to be. Oh God, let me say that again. To make one what one ought to be. In other words, God, hallelujah to God. God has been using all of these things. He's been using the affliction. He's been using the fire. He's been using the flood. He's been using the pain. He's been using the rejection. Come on, y'all. He's been using the disappointment to make you what you ought to be. Hallelujah. Nothing is going to be wasted in this season. Come on. Come Come on, somebody say that with me. Nothing, nothing is going to be wasted in this season. No, not one tear is going to be wasted. No, 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 nothing. Somebody say nothing. Nothing is going to be wasted in this season. Nothing that you've gone through. Nothing that you've endured. Nothing that you've experienced. Hallelujah. Come on, Zion. Somebody say nothing will be wasted. God is going to use all of it. Somebody say he's going to use all of it. Yeah, he's going to use all of it. Yeah, he's going to use all of it. Yeah, the, the fact that you got off track, he's going to use that too. Uh -huh. The fact that you messed up, he's going to use that too. Oh, 
God. Come on, come on, come on. Somebody say, God, use it for your glory. Hallelujah. Yeah, while other people may be laughing at you and talking about you because it looks as if God has overlooked you and it looks as if it's not going to happen for you. I hear the Lord say, I'm using it all for my glory. I'm using it all to make you what you ought to be. Yes, there were people that you thought that you would be connected with. There were things that you thought would have happened to you by now. And they did not happen. But be not discouraged, brothers and sisters. Be not discouraged, man of God. Don't you be discouraged, woman of God. I hear the Lord say that I'm using it to make you uh, hallelujah what you ought to be so we gonna stay right here come on here zion somebody said we gonna stay right here oh yeah 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 come on come on somebody said that we gonna stay right here no uh, we're not moving we gonna stay right here because god's gonna settle me hallelujah somebody say i'm settled Oh, sha na na na! I'm settled. I'm 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 not I'm not wavering no more. No, I'm not gonna change my mind. I'm not gonna change my confession. I'm settled. Somebody say I'm settled. I'm settled in my mind. I'm settled in my heart. I'm settled in my emotions. I'm settled in my spirit. I am settled. Somebody decree and declare over your life this morning. I'm settled. No matter what my eyes eyes may see oh what my ears may hear i decree and declare before god and all of heaven's hosts that i am settled settle me father somebody lift up your hands and say lord settle me settle me into a place where i won't change my mind i won't change my confession i won't change what i know about you i want to be settled hallelujah I want to have a firm foundation. Ah, nah, nah. I want to have a firm foundation. Oh, God, we thank you. Father, we thank you this morning. We give your name glory, honor, and praise. We thank you, Father, for who you are. Oh, Father, we thank you for who you are and who you are to us. We come, Father, in the name of Jesus with hearts of thanksgiving with our hands lifted up with praise thanking you father that you are our god and that you love us in spite of ourselves we come blessing your holy and your most right we come blessing your holy and your most righteous name we thank you father that you are the uncreated creator we thank you father that we know that there was nothing that existed before you and that you were not created of anything but that you are self-existent you are a wonderful God you are amazing you are magnificent father if we had 10,000 tongues we just could not praise you enough we couldn't give you enough praise we couldn't give you enough thanks for all that you have done for us things that you have done uh, that we were not even aware of things protection that you kept us from danger that has been seen and danger that was unseen father we thank you hallelujah thank you for calvary thank you for shedding your blood on calvary's cross uh, and redeeming us back to yourself father hallelujah we give your name glory we give your name honor and we give your name praise now father we come confessing our sins unto you father for you told us in your word that if we would confess our sins that you would be faithful and just to forgive us of our sins so father we confess our sins sins of omission and sins of commission father sins in our hearts and sins in our bodies father 
We confess sins of lying, of envy, of hate, of jealousy, of fornication, of adultery, of wickedness, of perversion, Father, of incest, of addiction, Father, in the name of Jesus, every filthy way that is in our heart, Father, in the name of Jesus, we come confessing our sins to you, and we ask, Father, this morning that you would cleanse us of all filthiness of the flesh in the name of Jesus. We ask God this morning that you would apply the blood and that you would see the blood. For you told us in your word that when I see the blood, I would pass over your sins. So Father, we ask this morning in the name of Jesus that you will look not at our sins, but that you would see the blood and that you would see our needs. Look beyond our fault and see our need in the name of Jesus. And now, Father, we come today as intercessors, standing in the gap on behalf of your people. Father, your people are in need of your hand. Your people are in need of your divine intervention. And so, Father, we ask in the name of Jesus that you will look on your people everywhere. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Father, for that one God that has been weary in their mind, weary in their spirit, weary in their heart. Father, weary in their faith, in their trust, in their belief in you. Father, you told us in your words to let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So, Father, now in the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of weariness, the spirit of weariness that call comes to cause your people to forfeit their harvest, the spirit of weariness that comes to cause your people to forfeit their harvest of blessing, their purpose, their destiny, and the reward that they have in you. Father, I pray this morning in the name of Jesus that you would settle us. I I pray this morning in the name of Jesus uh, that every heart that is listening this morning uh, would be settled in the fact that you are a true and a living God. Uh, Father, we don't want to be wavering uh, and we don't want to waver back and forth with every wind of doctrine, uh, but we want to stand. Uh, we want to stand still and see uh, the salvation of the Lord. Uh, Father, and having done all to stand and help us to stand therefore father we ask this morning in the name of jesus that you would help us uh, to gird up the loins of our mind. Uh, we know, Father, that the battle is in our mind. Uh, we know, Father, that the enemy is after our head uh, because whoever has the head has the victory. Uh, but we decree and declare uh, that we have on the helmet of salvation. In the name of Jesus, God, our hearts and our minds. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, you said in your word that thou would keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. And so, Father, now in the name of Jesus, let our minds be stayed on you. We don't want our minds to be stayed on our problems, because whatever we focus on multiplies. And so, Father, this morning we take our focus off of our problems and we put our focus on you and we say be magnified. Be magnified in our lives. Be magnified in our homes. Be magnified in our relationships. Father, now in the name of Jesus, we put you first. We put you where you belong. Father, we put you on the back burner and we put our jobs before you. We put our careers before you. We put our ambitions before you. We put our desires before you. But Father, now in the name of Jesus, we come to lay it all down at your feet. Anything that we have gained in this world, it means nothing to us compared to you. And so Father, now in the name of Jesus, oh 
God, we put you back where you belong, which is first in our lives. Oh, God, you are number one. You said in your word that you are God alone and that you would have no other God beside you and no God before you. And so we tear down every idol God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we tear it down. God, the gods that we have made up ourselves, we've made our wheels our God, doing the things that we want to do when we want to do it and how we want to do it. But Father, this morning in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that our wheels are coming subject to you. We decree and declare this morning that our wheels are coming subject to the word of God. We will not walk in the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. The word tells us that the, the spirit lust against the flesh and the flesh lust against the spirit. And so, Father, now in the name of Jesus, we will walk in the spirit so that we will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. We know, Father, this morning that there is nothing in this world but lust, sin, and death. And there is nothing in this flesh but sin. And so, Father, now in the name of Jesus, we come to lay it down. We come to lay it down at the altar in the mighty name of Jesus. And now, Father, we thank you. We thank you for this prophetic word that you have given us this morning. This prophetic word that you have come to settle us. And now, Father, we decree and declare in this prophetic month of July that July shall be the month of divine establishment. We decree and declare that we will be established in our faith. We decree and declare that we will be established in our finances. We decree and declare that we will be established in our families. In the name of Jesus, we decree and declare divine stability and establishment. Father, we thank you that you told us in your word that you have come to settle us. And so now, Father, in this month of July, this month of divine perfecting, we thank you, Father, for perfecting those things that can concerned us. We're not concerned about things that are happening in other people's lives. But Father, we thank you that you told us that you are going to perfect those things that concern us. So Father, we ask this morning in the name of Jesus that you would perfect us in the name of Jesus. Mature us and develop us. We thank you. We thank you this morning for divine breakthrough. We thank you this morning. Oh, Oh God, oh God, we will no longer question whether you will answer our prayer. Oh God, but we're going to be settled that you are a prayer answering God. We're not going to question whether you can heal us, but we are settled that you are our healer. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are our healer. We are settled in the fact that you love us and that you are a good father and that you provide for us. Father, settle us. Settle our mind. Settle our children. Settle our spouses. Settle our communities. Settle our cities and settle this nation. Father, we thank you that we are settled in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against any spirit that will cause us to waver. We come against any spirit that will cause us to doubt. We come against any spirit that will cause us not to believe in the name of Jesus. You told us in your word that after we have suffered a while and so Father now in the name of Jesus we decree and declare that it's been a while. We've been through the fire and we've been through the flood. We've been through the pain. We've been through the rejection. We've been through the hurt. We've been through the misunderstandings. Oh, Father, we've been through it all. And you made us a promise that after 
we suffered a while, then you would strengthen us. As a father, now we thank you. We thank you for divine strength. Strength, God, that comes from you and you alone. Strength, God, that does not come from ourselves. Strength, God, that does not come from this world. Strength, God, that does not come from man. But, oh, God, the strength that we have, it comes from you. You told us in your word that they that wait on you, you would renew their strength. And so, Father, now, in the name of Jesus, we thank you thank you thank you lord thank you for renewing our strength renew read to do again and so father we thank you for giving us new strength we thank you father we're not operating on old strength but oh father you told us in your word that you would give us new strength oh God, thank you. Thank you for strength. Thank you for strength to keep on going. Thank you for strength to persevere. Thank you for strength to stand. Thank you for strength to persevere. Thank you for strength to pursue. Thank you for strength to grow. Thank you for strength to stay. Thank you for strength to pray. Thank you for strength to believe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Our, our bodies, our flesh is weak, but our spirits are strong. Our spirits are strengthened. So we thank you for strength that does not come from man. We thank you for strength that does not come from Allah. It does not come from Buddha. It does not come from Krishna. But this strength that we have, it comes from the Lord. And so we thank you. Thank you for strength. Strength on our jobs. Thank you for strength. Strength in our marriages. Thank you for strength. Thank you for strength to believe strength to believe the impossible we want you to know father that no matter what the doctors may say we still believe you we want you to know father that no matter what the enemy may say we still believe you we want you to know father that no matter what's happening in our body no matter what's happening in our finances we believe you we we believe you we believe you lord we believe you lord we thank you for helping our unbelief. We thank you for establishing us. We thank you. We're settled. We're settled. We're settled in the fact that you've already made a way. We're settled in the fact that you've already brought us out. We're settled in the fact that we are victorious. We are victorious. We are victorious. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Oh God, we thank you. Thank you, 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 thank you for perfecting us, thank you for maturing us, thank you for increasing us. We should have died in it, but we lived through it. Somebody say that with me. I should have died in it, but I lived through it. I should have gave up in it, but I lived through it. I should have thrown in the town, but I lived through it. I'm here to give my testimony that God strengthened me. I'm here to give my testimony that God established me. I'm here to give my testimony that God settled me. I'm here to give my testimony that he made a way. I'm here to give my testimony that he brought me out. I'm here to give my testimony that he perfected me, that he matured me. I'm here to give my testimony and we bless you yes, and we glorify you. Hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you for what is to come. Now that we have been strengthened and settled and established and perfected. We are looking, hallelujah, for what is to come. Hallelujah. Father, we decree and declare in this divine month of perfection. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are putting away childish things. Hallelujah. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Somebody say, yes, Lord. We are putting away childish things. Hallelujah. Come on. Somebody say that with me. We are putting away childish things in this month of perfection. Somebody say, Lord, I'm putting away childish things. Hallelujah. You're mature now, man of God. Hallelujah. You're mature now, woman of God. You've been through the test. You've been through the flood. You've been through the fire. Hallelujah. There's nothing left for you to do but live. Hallelujah. Somebody say that with me. There's nothing left for me to do but live. Hallelujah. Live, live, live. Somebody say, I'm going to live. Hallelujah. You've already lived to see it happen. Folks been dying all around you, but you're still here. Somebody say that. I'm still here. Hallelujah. Folks been checking out and giving up. Folks been backsliding, throwing in the towel, not coming to church. Come on here. Not believing God. Come on here. Backsliding, living like they don't know God, but you're still here. Hallelujah. Oh, he's perfected some things in you. Hallelujah. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise right here. Come on and bless his name. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. And we love you. And we glorify you. Hallelujah. Thank you for victory that comes only from you. It comes only from you. Hallelujah. Thank you for settling us. Hallelujah. We're settled in our faith. We're settled in our emotions. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Somebody say, Lord, settle my emotions. Come on. Somebody say that. We're done. Somebody say that. Lord, settle my emotions. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Get your emotions in check. Quit being all over the place with your emotions. Lord, settle my emotions in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you. And we give your name, glory, honor, and praise. We pray today that the words of our mouth and the meditation of my heart, Father, we pray that they'll forever be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, you are our strength and you are our redeemer. Let every heart that believe it say in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Woo, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Somebody say glory be to God. Oh, yeah. You're here now. There's nothing left for you to live. Hallelujah. He's already, he's perfecting those things that concern you. He's bringing you to the place. He's making you what you ought to be. I want you right now to sow into this anointing. I want you right now to sow into this anointing. Hallelujah. Put a seed in this ground today. Hallelujah. This is your divine perfection seed. God is perfecting, maturing, and developing everything that concerns you. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. This July is going to be perfecting. No, no child stuff, no play stuff. I want everybody to get a seed of seven. Get a seed of seven, seven, 17, 27, 37, 77, 107, 207, 707, 700, whatever it is. <clears throat> I want everybody, and we're going to sew together on the count of three. I want everybody under the sound of my voice to get a something with the seven. Put this seven in the ground. 7, 17, 37, 57, 67, whatever it is, this month, this July, this prophetic month, this prophetic month of divine perfection, God says to sow into this anointing. I'm telling you, things are shifting in your favor. Hallelujah. Somebody say things are shifting in your favor on the count of three. I want everybody to grab something with a seven. I want you to go to cash app of Jesus Speaks Life. I want to speak a blessing over you as you sow on the count of three. <clears throat> Come on. One, two, three. Go right now. Go right now to cash app of Jesus Speaks Life. Go to sewingworks.com. Those of you that sew by uh, Venmo, you can go to Cash App, uh, not Cash App, what is it called? Venmo, Aziza Speaks. Those of you that sew by um, 
I can't get all these things together. Zell, it's Aziza Morrison at gmail.com. Uh, go right now. Go to and put that seven in the, in the ground. That seven, that 27, 47, 77. Get something with the seven. And Nikki Dickerson sold her seat. God bless you. Antoinette Douglas sold her seat. Robin Cunningham sold her seat. Shanae, uh, Shanae Marie sold her seat. Everybody get something in your hand. Get to, I thought I saw Sybil. Sybil sold her 37. Shirley Ross sold her 70. Come on, brothers and sisters. I'm telling you, so into this anointing, so into this word. I decree and declare, Shirley Ross, this has got to be it. Now, I want you to decree and declare of yourself, Shirley Ross, this is it. Come on, come on, Shirley. This July 7th, and I want you, if you are in agreement with this word, uh, uh, Sister Shirley, I want you, I feel a pull a strong pull for consecration for you the first three days of this month and i don't know if this is bear witnessing with your spirit but i feel a pull for you i feel a pull for you the first three days of the month seek the lord for a three-day consecration on what it is that he wants you to do i'm telling you sister shirley it's going to break for you somebody decree and declare that for sister shirley it's going to break god bless you natalie miller sold her 77 dollar seat come on there's more of you. I'm sorry for those of you that are sewing by PayPal. I don't have PayPal uh, available on this device. I'm using a different device this morning. But please know that I will be praying for you. Everybody, I want you to get something. Those of you that are on the phone line, go right now to Aziza, uh, Cash App Aziza Speaks. Go to SewingWorks.com and put that divine perfection seed, that divine perfection, that divine perfection. Somebody say playtime is over. Come on, he has strengthened us. He has settled us. And he has established us. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I thank you. I pray, brothers and sisters, that you were blessed by this prayer this morning. I know I have. I know that my spirit has been strengthened. I know that my spirit has been encouraged. Hallelujah. And I pray that you have been encouraged. I'm telling you, I'm still praying. I still feel my spirit praying. I do. It's, it's still going. I'm, 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 I'm staying calm, but I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's still going. It's still going. Don't go back. Somebody say, don't go back. Don't go, don't go, don't go back. Woo, hallelujah. All right, brothers and sisters, I love you all with the love of the Lord. Those of you that are still sowing, I am praying over you. I'm praying over each and every one of your seeds that come through today. And I want you to expect a quick return. I want you to expect a quick return. Amen. I love you all with the love of the Lord. I was getting ready to say something and it just, it left my mind. I forgot. Shucks. What was I getting ready to say? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I was getting ready to say something. All right. I love you. Do me a favor. Those of you that are still watching by Facebook, go ahead and hit the share button. Many of you, please, I'm asking you, hit the share button. Just hit, just, all you gotta do is just hit the share button and go ahead and hit those hearts. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and hit those hearts. All right. I love you all. I will be, we will be back on Tuesday. Because the Bible is right. When Zion travails, she shall bring forth. God bless you. Walk with Jesus today. Shalom. Bye-bye.